Hey guys, it's me again, Ben. If you're wondering why I sighed, it was because I'm reviewing a movie that I was jealous of. Yes, I was really jealous of this movie. I'm pretty sure you already know it because of that video title. Godzilla 2014 best five moments from Godzilla 2014. Why I was jealous of it. Let's let's talk about that first. When I made when I conceived Bear Gorse, I started to become very um envious or jealous, whatever you, whatever it would be that I would become when Godzilla 2015 was about to go out, come out, no, not go out, come out, yeah, <laughs> no, he was, Godzilla's appearance wasn't all that bad, but when I, when I knew it back then, I criticized it a whole lot, and then, and I compared to a mentally challenged bear, and I would say the real word, but I'm not going to, it would be really offensive. But that was just an insult from back then, and I truly apologize to the Godzilla 2014 fan base for what I have done. Also, when I did conceive Bear Gorse, I wanted to be more powerful than Godzilla, which um, it was a little bit successful, but not as successful as Godzilla because Godzilla was more popular and well known. Anyway, top five best moments from Godzilla 2014. Number five, nuclear plant destruction by Muto. Cinemassacre said that the that the Muto shouldn't have been the one attacking the nuclear plant. Godzilla should have been the one. And without Godzilla mostly in the movie, the movie was just boring. But anyway, number four, the um Godzilla wave scene is when the waves come in and destroy a city. Sure, Godzilla was the one causing it, but he wasn't actually in the scene m most of the time. That was really disappointing for some Godzilla fans, especially when they want to see him often. And then number three, the train destruction. It was pretty cool to watch. I mean, now, not for me back then, but, but now it's cool for me to watch because it was pretty decent. I mean, if only Godzilla was the one... one that attacked the train, just like, just like, in, just like what Sam Massacre said, and, yeah, number two, the monster fight, in which Godzilla and Muto fight at the very end, and it's very cool, I mean, I remember seeing the scene where Godzilla blows his nuclear breath, pretty much throwing up in Muto's, Muto's, um, Mouth. I'm just kidding. He doesn't throw up. He just has nuclear breath. Everyone knows him for that. And, um... It was pretty cool. I have nothing else to say about that. Hopefully, I get some praise for just accepting it for what it is. But anyway, number one is when Godzilla leaves San Francisco. For those who haven't seen the movie... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, now, don't think of this as a spoiler. It's something that Godzilla does at the very end. He doesn't defeat the eat the Mutos probably by by spitting to his mouth to Mutos mouth with his nuclear breath. But I'm pretty sure um nobody knows what really happened. They all see the movie for themselves. In fact, when I saw the movie, part of the movie, it looks like it was gonna be the end, but it wasn't the end yet because it took place at night, just like the most most of them was. And so. Yeah, yeah. that's all I can say about Godzilla 2014. It's a decent film, but even though Godzilla doesn't appear very often, and most of it is shot at night, and there's always these soldiers running around, just like Cinemasker said. I honestly think it's better than Godzilla, Godzilla 1998, and that one wasn't really Godzilla. That was just a monster that was competing with Jurassic Park. Yeah. But, you know, both movies have their goods and bads, Mostly, Godzilla 2014 has the goods, but but, it's, but because of Sin Massacre, I know that about what he says is true, but I personally believe Godzilla 2014 would have been better, and oh, he did say, hopefully, that two of, two of these other films, the one from 2019 is coming out in two years, and the, and the Godzilla vs. Kong movie, that's what I believe that is what they titled it, because they're titling things different, just like... Sh Mr. P. Body and Sherman. Anyway, um, hopefully, I am. Um, hopefully, 
those movies are good and it will outbeat 2014. And I apologize to the Godzilla fan base for, for being a bad Godzilla fan, especially when I try to compete with Godzilla himself. Peace and love, that's all that matters. Just like Wingo Star. See ya.